We're here to bring you the quintessential Christmas with fresh spins on your family favourites. Today I'm starting with my Mediterranean whole bake snapper with green olive and sun-dried tomato. It may seem daunting to cook a whole fish, but it is actually really easy. I'm going to show you how, especially when you compare this to cooking roast for hours on end, when you can have a beautiful dish like this cooked on the barbecue for about 30 minutes. So easy. So the first step is to get our barbecue preheating. I've got the Q-Burner on high, convection tray and trivet on here so it's ready for roasting. Close the lid, leave this for 15 minutes and then we can get straight onto our fish. So the next step, we're going to prepare the fish. This is cleaned, it's been scaled. All I'm going to do is cut off the pectoral fins and then we can score that flesh. We'll flip him over and do that other side. This snapper is just over a kilo. It's a brilliant size. I do really love cooking whole snapper because I think that you get the most flavor from that flesh cooking on the bone, but also it's a lot easier to get that really tender, soft flesh result because it is protected with all that bone and skin. Now I'm just adding in some score marks and this will help allow those Mediterranean salsa flavors to permeate throughout the meat. Now that our fish is mostly prepared, we can get onto our Mediterranean salsa. So first ingredient, we have our beautiful green olives. So some beautiful, sweet, but rich sun-dried tomatoes, some red onion, garlic cloves, a lemon, and a nice herby flavor with some beautiful fresh oregano. For this fresh Mediterranean salsa, we're using a lot of color, a lot of flavor, which goes perfect with this fish. That's our green olives done, and now we can get onto our sun-dried tomatoes. What I really love about this salsa is the variety of textures that you get. So every single bite, every mouthful, has a beautiful different flavor and texture. Now we're just roughly chopping that sun-dried tomato too. Look at that Weber knife go. You can see those beautiful colors already coming together. Now we'll just go straight into a bowl. And then we can go in with some lemon. Now, juice half a lemon, we'll squeeze that in first. I actually really love to double this salsa recipe so you can serve half of it fresh alongside the fish with some torn crusty bread. Amazing baked, but just as amazing fresh. Beautiful. And then this other half, we'll actually thinly slice this and pop this into the cavity of the fish. Then we go in with some olive oil and this will help to coat that fish. And then of course, always some salt and pepper. Really nice grind them out. Get it in there. Now, if you are making this salsa in advance, just hold off on adding that lemon and oil just so the mix doesn't spoil. Wonderful. Get into that stir. Look at this, beautiful. Before we get all fishy, I'm just going to separate some of this salsa so we can eat it fresh with that torn bread. Amazing. Because we're roasting a whole fish, imagine popping it onto the barbecue. It cooks, it goes nice and delicate. And then how do you get it off? Well, I have a solution for you. And that is a couple sheets of foil. I also like to pop a sheet of baking paper down. Now, we can pop our fish straight on there and we're going to create almost like a boat for that fish to sit in. All right, we have our fish going with our salsa. I'm just going to spread that all over. Might massage that in just to make sure those flavors get right in there. Okay, now we've pat that into those incisions. Flip him over and then go on with the rest of that salsa. Beautiful. 
Make sure you get every last little bit. Look at that. I always like to pile that presentation side a bit higher with the salsa. Yum. And then, I'll flip this around so you can see. Now we've got that wonderful cavity. I'm just going to stuff the lemon inside. And as this is roasting, the fish will steam, that lemon will steam. So you get that beautiful, fresh flavor permeate the whole way through the fish. Also looks really lovely too. This isn't in the recipe, but I feel like I just want to add a little olive oil over the head just so it stays nice and shiny and bright for Christmas. Beautiful, and now this is ready to fold up into our boat. Look at that. Nice shiny new boat to sail straight onto the barbecue. But in all seriousness, this is actually ready to go straight on. We'll adjust this down to the roasting setting and let this bake for around 30 to 40 minutes, just until that flesh has set perfectly cooked. I've had a quick peek at the snapper and it looks stunning. Check it out. You can see all of those ingredients have caramelized on top. We've got those juices bubbling, all the flavors combining together. And this is why I love cooking it open so those ingredients in the fish has a chance to caramelize on top. Now I'm just going to check the temperature. So two ways to check whether your fish is ready. First, you can just press down on the flesh. If it feels quite firm or even starts to flake apart underneath, you know it's done. Alternatively, use an instant read thermometer. Now, safety guidelines recommend 63 degrees for a fish. If it's fresh, you could actually eat it raw. So I like to underdo mine about low 50s and then let it rest up to temperature. It will be soft, silky and delicious. A whole baked fish just like this is a delightful addition to your quintessential Christmas feast. There you have it, my Mediterranean baked snapper with green olive and sun-dried tomato. So fresh, so delicious, all thanks to the Weber Pew.